Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video we are going to understand how to create an automated news feed on Facebook using Perplexity AI. So I manage a Facebook page for sports where I want to share the latest sports news with my followers. So here to get that latest news, I am going to use RSS by Pabli. So here RSS stands for really simple syndication and is used to get the updated and latest news from the websites you are interested in. So here my objective is that whenever I am going to receive new feed in RSS, then automatically using that, a new summary for that feed should be generated using Perplexity AI and after generating the summary, automatically it should be posted on my Facebook page as a new post. So here to build this connection, I need to connect these applications using an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to understand how to create an automated news feed on Facebook using Perplexity AI and Pabli Connect. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I manage a Facebook page for sports enthusiasts and I want to share the latest sports news with my followers. So manually summarizing and posting updates can be time consuming. So now I've planned to automate this entire process. So I use an RSS feed to pull in the latest sports news. Then an AI that is Perplexity AI generates a brief summary of each article. And with Pabli Connect, these summaries are automatically posted on my Facebook page. And this setup saves me a lot of time and ensures that my followers get regular updates with the latest sports news, keeping them engaged with without any manual effort on my part. So here to build this connection, I need to connect my RSS feed reader with my Perplexity AI account and my Facebook page using an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus it keeps everything organized and error free so you can focus on growing your business hustle free. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect and you can visit it by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in here you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications I am going to use Pabli Connect. Now this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection I need to create a workflow first. So for that I am going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as create an automated news feed on Facebook using Perplexity AI. And here I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select the folder as per your need. Also you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect, you have to click on this learn more link given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to a forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect. So now moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow and here on my screen you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here in our trigger step, what we are going to do is that we are going to select our trigger application as a feature by Pabli that is RSS by Pabli. So by selecting this particular feature, we are going to use the RSS feed reader which is provided by Pabli over here. 
So here I'm going to select it. So RSS feed are used to easily stay updated with the latest content from the websites you are interested in, like news sites, blogs, or podcasts. Instead of visiting each site individually to check for new content, you can use an RSS reader to see all updates in one place. It saves time and ensures you never miss out on new articles, posts, or episodes that matter to you. So here in my RSS reader by Pabli, I'm going to select my trigger event as new item in feed. So that whenever we are going to receive new item in our RSS feed, then automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. Or you can say that whenever we are going to receive new item in feed, this entire workflow is going to be triggered. And now here to connect my RSS by Pabli with Pabli Connect, I'm going to click on this connect given over here. And here you can see after building the successful connection, here it is asking me for a feed URL and the filter type. So here for the feed URL, I need to enter my RSS feed URL from which I want to receive the new updates. So here to get this feed URL, let me take you to my favorite site's RSS feed that is The Hindu. So this is the The Hindu RSS feeds window and here you can see all the RSS readers that are available and are provided by The Hindu. So here you can see some different categories such as news, Opinion, business, sports, crossword, science, life and style and entertainment. So as I've already mentioned that I'm going to create this automated news feed for my sports channel. So here I'm going to select my feed type as sport. And here after selecting my category, here you can see I've received the feed URL over here. So I'm going to copy it. Moving back to my Pabli's workflow and here I'm going to enter the feed URL. And now here after entering this feed URL, here it is asking me for a filter type. So here by clicking on this drop down menu, you can see the filter type that you can select. That is first is default, then different GUID and different publish date. So by selecting any of the filter type, you are going to receive the feed as per the filter selected. So I'm going to select the default filter type. And now here after selecting both the details, I'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here. And here you can see we have received a successful response where we have received the title of the news that says Kurbaz and Rashid lead Afghanistan to first ODI series win over South Africa. And here you can see the published date that is today's date, Saturday 21st September 2024. And here you can see the media content width. Here you can see the media content URL that we have received for the media that has been published with the news. Scrolling little down. Here you can see the link of the news over here. So here I'm going to scroll a little down. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to open it in a new tab for you. And here you can see it has directly taken us to the news which says Gurbaz and Rashid lead Afghanistan to first ODI series win over South Africa. So here you can see the entire news with the image published over here. So moving back to my Pavli's workflow. And here after link you can see all the details that we have received such as the description for the news. Scrolling little down and here you can see the content snippet and here you can see the content and the categories as cricket. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. Now we are going to use this particular news link to generate a summary of this link so that we can post it on our Facebook page. So for that we are going to use a AI that is perplexity AI. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger over here. But here let me tell you that RSS by Pabli is a pooling based application. That means it will look for the new responses in every one hour. So now let's move to action step. And here in this action step, we are going to select the action application as Perplexity AI. So Perplexity AI is advanced AI tool that helps with understanding and generating human-like text. It's designed to answer questions, assist with writing and provide information on various topics. People use Perplexity AI because it makes finding answers and creating content easier by using sophisticated language models to deliver accurate and relevant responses. Whether you need help with research, drafting text, or just finding quick answers, Perplexity AI offers a smart and efficient way to get the information you need. So in my Perplexity AI action step, I'm going to select my action event as create chart completion. And now here after selecting my action event, I'm going to connect my perplexity here with Pabli Connect by clicking on this connect button given over here. 
Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your perplexity AI account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, it is asking me for an API token. So here in the help text, it says log into perplexity AI and navigate to the settings icon. Click on the API section and generate the API key under the API keys tab. So I'm going to click on this API hyperlink given over here so that we can go to our API section directly. And here you can see it has directly navigated me to the API section of my Perplexity AI account because I was already logged in my Perplexity AI account. So to get easily directed, make sure you are already logged in your Perplexity AI account. So now I'm going to copy this API key, moving back to my Pabli's workflow and here I'm going to paste the API key. And now here after successfully entering this API key, I'm going to click on the save given over here. And here you can see we are now successfully connected. So now moving forward and here for the model, I'm going to select model as this moving forward. And then here it is asking me to select the role. So for that, I'm going to click on this drop down menu. And from here, I'm going to select roles as user over here moving forward. And then here it is asking me for the content user. So here in this content user field, I need to enter the content. That means I need to enter the prompt over here that I'm going to use to generate a summary of my news using perplexity AI. So here I'm going to give the prompt as generate a short summary that I can post on my Facebook page for the news news link. Write in paragraphs, keep the formatting as plain text without bolding or highlighting any text or headers. Strictly avoid adding any special characters such as star or hashtags for bold text in the content. So here you can see I have used a variable in the place of news link over here because I'm going to enter the news link over here. So here instead of entering this news link manually, here I'm going to map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here I'm going to map the data from the response I've received in my trigger step. Mapping makes the text dynamic so that whenever we are going to receive new item in our RSS feed, then automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one. So here I'm going to map my news link so this is my news link over here so i'm going to map it moving forward here this max tokens temperature and some other fields are not a required field so here i'm going to leave them blank but if you want to add any other detail then you can do it as per your need and now here after entering all the required details i'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here and here you can see we have received the successful response where we have received the details such as the ID, usage prompt tokens moving forward. Here you can see the finished reason, message role and here you can see the message content. That means this is the summary that we have generated using Perplexity AI. So this is the entire summary of the news that Perplexity AI has generated for us. And now we are going to post this entire summary with the media that we have received in our RSS feed response to create a new post for our Facebook page. So with this, we have successfully set up this action step as well. Now let's move to another action step by clicking on this add action step button given over here. And here in this action step, we are going to select the action application as Facebook pages over here. So Facebook pages are public profiles created for businesses, organizations or public figures to connect with their audience. People use Facebook pages to promote their brand, share updates, engage with customers and grow their online presence. It's a great way for businesses to reach more people, showcase their products or services and build a community by posting content, responding to messages and running ads. Whether you are a small business or a large company. Facebook pages help you stay connected with your followers and attract new customers. So here in my Facebook pages action step, I'm going to select my action event as create a page photo post over here. So here I'm going to select this particular action event because I'm going to add the photo URL that we have received in our RSS feed response over here. So here if you don't receive the media content URL in your feed, then you have to use another action event over here that is create page post. But as I have received the media content URL, that's why I'm using create page photo post so that I can post the media with my new summary also. So here to connect my Facebook pages with Pabli Connect, I'm going to click on this connect given over here. And again here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Facebook pages account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this connect with Facebook pages.
Here I'm going to select my desired account. And authorization successful. So here you can see we are now successfully connected. So moving forward. And then here it is asking me to select the page. So here I've already shown you that I have my Facebook page with the name as Sports Elite Training Center. So moving back to my Pabli's workflow. And here I'm going to select my page as Sports Elite Training Center over here. And now here after selecting my page here it is asking me for the photo URL. So here I need to enter the media URL that I want to post as a post on my Facebook page. So here I am going to map the media content URL that we have received in the response of our RSS by Pabli. So this is the media content URL over here. So here I am going to map it. Moving forward, here for the description, I'm going to map the summary of the news that we have generated using Perplexity AI. So for that, I'm going to select the response over here. And from here, I'm going to select this message content generated. And now here, after entering all the required details, I'm going to click on the Save and Send as request given over here. And here you can see we have received a successful response. That means we have successfully created a new page photo post on our Facebook page. So now let's go and check it. Here I'm going to refresh it. Scrolling little down. And here you can see the post that we have created just now with the summary as Afghanistan has made history by securing their first ODI series win over South Africa. The decisive victory was led by outstanding performances from Rahmanullah Gurbaz and Rashid Khan. Gurbaz's impressive batting and Rashid's exceptional bowling were key factors in Afghanistan's success. This milestone win marks significant achievement for the Afghan cricket team, highlighting their growing strength and competitiveness on the international stage. Fans and supporters are celebrating this historic achievement which is seen as a major breakthrough for Afghan cricket. And here you can see the media that we have received through RSS feed. So with this, we have successfully set up our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as RSS by Pabli and our action as Perplexity AI and Facebook pages. So that whenever we are going to receive new item in feed of our RSS, then automatically using that link of the news, a summary for that news is going to be generated using Perplexity AI. And after that, automatically the summary generated is going to be posted on my Facebook page with the media that we have received in our RSS by Pabli. Now, if you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.